That is pretty. That is pretty. Everybody, my name is Luke. Welcome to this episode of the Outdoor Gear Review, where I am not alone. Susie, how you doing? I'm great. And you're definitely not alone today. Not alone. No. Are you ready to hike? I am ready. Okay. Folks, we are out here in a winter winter land. It is amazing. Everything is iced up. Little snowy. Windy. It's cold. Maybe I should have worn more clothes. <laughs> it is cold. It is cold. Now originally our hike was going to be much different. We were planning on hiking some of the closed roads in the area, but we saw a peak of the mountains and saw how much ice was up there and we we're like, hey, you know what? This is a good spot. It's a cold spot. Very cold, <laughs> but a great spot to show you guys a really cool view. And when it's snowy and icy like this, this place is the place to be. It oh looks yeah. So cool. Plus, this place is dead. There's nobody out here today, is there? <laughs> Shockingly, no. <laughs> <laughs> It is gorgeous out here, everybody. Beautiful. It's also very cold. Temperatures around 15 degrees Fahrenheit. Winds up to 30 miles an hour. Rocky and awesome. As we go up for this adventure, we will head into the clouds. That's going to be awesome. More ice, more snow, prettier for sure. When you're outside for a trip and you're cold, there's a fine balance between going faster to warm up and not sweating at the same time. So far, I'm pretty good. How are you? I'm still cold. It's almost like playing a game when you're out here because I do want to get warm, but I don't want to start sweating. So constantly you're like, it's almost, it's almost like a battle in a way. <laughs> it is. That's a great way to put it. It's a battle. Like you speed up to warm up, but then you have to slow down so you don't sweat. That keeps things interesting, that's for sure. I should have brought a mask, but I didn't. You don't happen to have one, do you, honey bear? I'm using my gloves as a mask <laughs> today. <laughs> This trail is two miles to the top. Okay. It's a, you go up and you have to hike back down the same trail. It's really well made. The volunteers and everyone that works on this trail, they do a great job. This place is pretty great. It opened up a couple of years ago. It was privately owned, this mountain, and it was either sold or given to the park service. And they've come through, <laughs> I tell you, their love for this place shines. It really does. It's very clean, always well maintained. Right. It's a great place to come hike. It is. Yeah. So I think for myself on a winter cold day, the best part about being out is usually you can go to places and be about the only people hiking there. And that makes it really nice. When we pulled in, we didn't see any cars, but we actually just let some people pass us on the trail. But really, you can't beat that. So we're definitely getting lucky today and getting some nice solitude while we're out for our hike. On a nice sunny day, this trail will be absolutely packed. 
parking lot full. We are very, very lucky. Yeah. To have it basically to ourselves. Yeah. You know, Susie, it's a shame that winter is almost over. We are now into the fourth day of March, not far from her birthday. And I mean, it's gonna be over very, very soon. <laughs> birthday girl. <laughs> Susie is going to be 26, guys. How about that? They're not gonna believe you. <laughs> they would believe me. <laughs> you look 26. Hopefully, you can pull it off. Hopefully they can do the math and know that that's not possible. <laughs> but anyway, winter really is coming to an end. We have the rest of this month here, and that's pretty much it. Hopefully we'll get at least one more good snowstorm. So Susie, what type of jacket are you wearing here? This jacket is from Dark Peak. It is a down jacket. It is a new one that I'm actually testing out. So what do you think? Looks good. I like the name Dark Peak. Dark Peak, yeah. So far I am staying really warm. There are some aspects to the jacket I like. They contacted us. It's not something I've heard of either. This specific model is called the Nesh jacket. I believe it is their first jacket. I like the look of it a lot. This is a women's specific fit. And sorry guys, my face is froze <laughs> on this trail. <laughs> anyway, more about the jacket later. A review on this jacket will be coming up soon. Susan will be having some of her very own reviews specifically for the ladies. Coming up soon, everybody. Well, you can't see anything, but it's still beautiful. <laughs> Check this out, everybody. So folks, as we're hiking along here, I can't help but wonder what is new with all of you. Comment down below, talk about your adventures, new gear, planned trips, and so on. Susie, what is new with you? Let's see, what is new? We just did a trip not that long ago. We're out hiking again. We have another trip planned next week. That's a multi-day trip. Yeah, I guess my birthday is coming up, so <laughs> <laughs> I will be getting older. And other than that, same old, same old. <laughs> Susie is about to get older. I just got older not too long ago, a couple of weeks back. That's right. Yeah, 38, 26. <laughs> <laughs> They're not gonna believe you. Do you guys believe me? Now folks, when it comes to me and what is new, lots of stuff, lots of adventures being planned, gear reviews coming up. When it comes to personal matters, you all know that I like working out. I have extended my weightlifting to one hour a day and I'm pretty impressed with the results so far. For those of you who like lifting weights, specifically the guys, if you lift weights for one hour a day, it will dramatically increase testosterone. I feel like I'm a whole new person. Yeah. What do you think, hon? I agree. You have so much energy. You have a lot of intensity. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, but it's working for you. You're seeing the results that you want and that's what's important. But I will tell you guys, he eats a ton of food now. Yeah. He is constantly hungry and constantly having to eat. I hot. <laughs> The sun is just right there. Is I mean, it? It's right at the tip of those clouds. I see no sun. So as it stands now, we are not far from the top. We're, we are guaranteed to have no view at all. <laughs> <laughs> Oh 
Oh my gosh, blue sky. There may be a view. I could be wrong. See sunshine. Full on sunshine. Oh it's out. Gosh. Wow. Wow, I was wrong. I was wrong too. Here in the mountains, wait literally 10 seconds, it will change. Oh yeah, the people that we were hiking with, we ended up passing them a long time ago. We are pretty fit, we're pretty fit. That's pretty. It is pretty. North or south, babe? We gotta go north. Okay. North, north. What do you think about the view? No view. No view? Nope. So, I wanna show you all this. It's amazing. Gosh, look at the ice up here. Inches thick. Well, let's go check out the south side. Want to? Yes. That's cool with the clouds going by. Yeah. So we made it to the top of Elk Knob, elevation 5,520 feet. Honey has made it to the, the peak of a pile of gravel. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, Susie! You've done it. <laughs> this has been a great hike, ton of fun. Still beautiful though. Yeah. Yeah. It's so different compared to your average sunny day where the trail is packed. You come out here, things are dark, gloomy. Your hair, her hair is frozen. True story guys, <laughs> frozen hair. Look, Look at, at that. that. <laughs> Frozen. Nice and cold today. Unfortunately, the cold days are pretty much over. I mean, we have another month of like cold, hot, cold, hot. That's how it goes, but. Days like today give you guys a great opportunity to really take advantage and have a magical moment outside. You know, we didn't see many people, 
We got a great view of other things. We didn't get your typical view that you would find on a nice sunny day, but look how awesome it is and look what we got to experience today. Everything is coated in ice. It's beautiful, it's ominous, it's kind of dark and even bright at the same time. Yeah. It's neat. It is, it's very neat. Now we get to go two miles back down. Back down. Because I don't know about you, but my face be frozen. I am frozen a little. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's hard to make words when your face is froze. You heard it here with the Outdoor Gear Review. It is hard to make words when your face is frozen. Well, honey bear, we were not wrong about the views. They yeah. did not clear up. <laughs> no. No. I knew it. Every time we come out here, it's like that. Yeah. You know? Yeah, I think so. At least with the camera. <laughs> right. Okay, so a couple things to talk about real quick. One, actually both are kind of funny. First off, Susan is not 26 years old. <laughs> also, in the overnight adventure that Susan and I had just done, I had talked about having one of my wisdom teeth taken out and how out of it I was after it was all said and done. Well, a couple of months back, my dog had to have numerous teeth removed as well. Take a look at these two pictures. One is after she had her teeth removed. One is after I had my tooth removed. We look exactly the same. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's yeah. funny. So everyone, with it being Susan's birthday in a couple of days, make sure to comment down below and say, happy birthday, Susie. Happy birthday, Susie. Aw, thank you. I did think of one new thing that I did want to share with you guys. I actually found a pair of Fial Raven trekking tights on eBay. They actually have those for men. And I was in a store in town, they actually carry those. And the woman, she was talking about them. And I was like, listen, yeah. I don't know if I'm comfortable enough to wear tights. I'm, I'm not sure about them for men, but yeah. I think for women. Yeah, for women, perfect. sure. Yeah, and I'm, I'm looking forward to trying them out, but I'm just not sure if, if it's the right fit for a man. No. <laughs> well, you know, it's like I think about it, like a woman has the body for tights, you know? Yeah. Men don't have bodies for wearing tights that gets just wrong in so many levels in my opinion it's one thing to be wearing tights and have a pair of shorts over them i don't know i'm old school very old school you're not gonna see me running around here with just tights on <laughs> well that would be weird babe <laughs> what do you guys think about this comment down below share your thoughts share your thoughts about the fjall raven tights I guess the great thing about those tights is they have pockets and things like that that typical leggings and tights don't have right so i think there's some good aspects to them <laughs> Everybody, this adventure has come to an end. Susie, I love your hair. Oh yeah, it's a new look now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> looks great, looks great. Gosh, even the mic is the same way, look at that. Yeah. 
<laughs> See, you got a little bit going on there. A little there. bit. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody, thank you so much for joining us for this hike on to the next. Here with the Outdoor Gear Review, we are keeping the adventures coming. Overnight adventures, creeper walks, hikes, and so on. Strength and honor, support the channel if you want to through Patreon. See you guys around. Bye. Bye.